Hey guys, it is Jacob here. I got cold, so I'm sorry for that. If my voice sounds weird. This video will be a little bit different. I'm leveling Rosa up. Uh, I'm nearly ending the story. So that's different from my other videos when I showed you the builds after I completed the story. In this video I'd like to give you a little tip at the beginning and then I will show you the build and I will finish the story in this video actually. What they did uh, uh, in this season, they shortened the story quests and they gave us these uh, treasure trove maps <clears throat> and what you can do here is you can level up in the last treasure trove up to level 60 pretty fast it took me like three runs three or four runs to level up to level 60 from level 55 so as you can see i just finished level 60 and i'm already 40 percent into the next level and why is that a deal if you struggle in your story with bosses especially with bosses you can actually level up to level 60 and open your third trade to make the last boss a lot easier if you struggle with him <coughs> like if you can't finish the story just because of the last boss you can actually level up to level 60 here really fast it will take like maybe 10 minutes and you can then finish your trial hopefully you can clear that that shouldn't be hard um let's get there right now i can actually put the two skill points somewhere here got a new packed spirit point i don't need anything and we can challenge the next boss for the level 60 trade so we will do that and hopefully you can clear him as well it shouldn't be hard for any character to clear a level 60 boss but yeah if you struggle with that then just proceed with the story and push push through the story boss go for maps and return return here fast uh, return here later but you should be able to clear it just like i did right now that will open your third trade i have no idea what the third trade on rosa does yet oh, I, I will not even read it or i might let's read it actually so holy illumination radius that's the f skill for every 1% block ratio you currently have, plus 1% murderous intent restoration, okay. For every 2 murderous intent you currently have plus 1 additional damage dealt to enemies in the holy domain. So that's around like 60% damage, maybe 50 since I will not be on full murderous intent on the boss fight. For every 3 murderous intent you currently have restores. 0.1% of missing life and energy shield when blocking, that's nice. <coughs> so that's up always, so that's some source of regen for her. Gains a skill slot in which a support skill or activation medium support skill can be installed to support trade skill holy domain. Oh, that's nice. <coughs> I can only use these three and all three are useless of course and the hero relic uh, slot is open okay so let's proceed to the last boss when you hold supreme power and I mean you want well similar can can slot in this but now i think i've found okay. the answer And just so I talk ha ha while I kill the bosses, um, you can actually, if you don't want to think about the build at all, you can just follow the recommended build that they made for you. 
I've decided to not to because I did not really like the ground shatter gameplay. So I've decided to use a different demolisher charge build or or skill. And since it is also demolition charge skill, you can pretty much use the same passive skill tree. But I've made slight changes to that as well. Slight, just different uh, talent points. But the, the talent trees remained the same. And my changes were towards more attack speed. Because I decided to use Leap Slam instead of, instead of Blink. And that allows me to go for more attack speed to move through the story zones faster. Oh, that's what I did. And I will show you the talent trees later after I kill the boss. So this is the last boss of the game. So yeah, spoiler alert. If somebody did not like fought this boss yet. So this is the last one. In the story. Do you feel it? The terror. The and this is Rosa's damage when you actually trigger her F skill. Is what you mortals should feel when facing a god. Stop struggling. Oh son, rust away. Okay, that's the first phase. And now for the second phase. See? It was a breath. Farewell. And that's the boss done, basically. So that's the story done on Rosa. I mean, I died a lot. It was not fun for me to level up this character or to play the story with this character. And that's also because I don't like playing melee characters. And because I don't really like playing melee characters, that's also the reason why I chose a different skill. So let's check the damage. Please select the calibration intensity for invincibility number two. So this is the damage, around 0.5 million, I'm definitely enough to start mapping, of course, so somewhere around 0.5 million, and let's go through the skills first. <coughs> so the, their recommended skill is Ground Shatter, or Ground Shaker, this is the big AoE skill, it looks like this. Uh, and when you have demolisher charge, it explodes twice, basically. So it looks like this. You can cast it like this. I have demolition. <coughs> I have the skill on one of my items as well. These gloves trigger the ground shaker as well, so that's why it explodes twice. So you can go with that and you can be completely fine, just follow the, their recommended support and you will just go through the story easily. <coughs> I swapped the skill for Hammer of Edge because I feel like it gives me like more freedom where, when I don't need to go to the monsters directly and I can actually shoot them or shoot them from afar. <laughs> And when you have the demolition charge on, the projectiles explode and the explosions can shotgun so it deals more damage. And when you are in the right uh, like uh, distance from the boss or from the monster, you can actually hit him, hit him with the melee attack and with the projectile explosions as well like I'm doing here. So yeah, I, I like this skill more than the ground shaker. That's why I used it. These are the links. This one for uh, to recharge demolition charges faster. This one gives you some additional damage when you actually use the demolition charge. This one gives you AoE. 
and uh, uh, like area and area damage. And this one gives you more projectiles, so more explosions, clear specs faster. Yeah. And for movement skill, I use leap attack instead of blink. The recommended skill was blink, I believe. Was it blink? Yeah, it was blink. So I use leap attack. And I link that with Rickless because Rickless gives you additional attack speed. So that's my main link. And the second link, once it got like available, was quick mobility to increase the attack speed even more. If you have enough energy, you can even slot in precision strike or even more attack speed. So yeah, to get through the locations as fast as possible. Healing skill. I used compound source. If you like any other skill, like use anything else. Uh, all these, all the skills use charges, so we have to charge them up to be able to use them. Uh, one different skill here is Resurrection Warcry. You can use that without charges. Actually, it's just on cooldown. That would be my main option. But I felt like I need the healing from time to time. Yeah, uh, resurrection work I would be my recommendation here. Limber stretch for the movement speed. A residues just to have the restoration effect even on full life. Uh, then my my main empower skill would be burst of anger because that gives you another source of additional attack speed, so it lets you move through the maps faster. Extended duration mania. Duration is obvious why it is there, and mania increases the effect, so you get more additional movement speed. And the last one, that was the recommended one, it just gives you additional damage. Same supports as the burst of anger. So this is additional damage, you pop it on harder targets, and you simply deal more damage. My first, when you open the first aura slot, my main like aura or passive skill was summon thunder spirit, and that's because it gives you more attack speed to move through them as faster. And once you get to level 50 or 55, you open superpower, so you can overcharge the thunder spirit and get a higher effect of the attack speed from him. So that's what I did here. Again, more attack speed. Uh, for the supports, for the Hammer of Ash, it is a fire skill. So, Flame Imbue, that's a source of flat elemental damage. And Thunder Imbue, that's another source of elemental damage. And then I felt like I'm struggling with mana from time to time. So I slotted in mana so Magical Source. If you don't struggle with mana, you can slot in Corrosion Imbue for even more flat damage. Or acuteness in view for percentage additional physical damage and some trauma damage. So those would be the options here. So that's for the skills. Now for the passive skills. I pretty much followed what they recommended, but I swapped some a few things for more attack speed, like here. So this gives you more damage. Block chance, you through block chance you generate your hero trait, uh, this one, so that's important to have at least some source of block chance. Then these are flat physical damage and chance to paralyze the monsters, which is 10% additional damage taken for them. And then the remaining points to 24, I just use them here for more attack speed. Uh, cohesion, that's like guaranteed critical strike every one second. And for the second one, they they like recommend you instant smash. Uh, I've gone for fervor because I don't feel like this gives me any advantage anywhere. So fervor, more crit chance basically. And you also scale the fervor later on in the other trees, so yeah, that's the source of ferv of fervor for you. Uh, the second tree they recommend is ranger. So uh, again, damage, then attack speed, area, 
area is here because I wanted to make the explosions bigger so they overlap more so, so they can like you know shotgun better so that's the reason why I picked up uh, area here and then again the recommended points like server effect, server create, uh, create damage and here is melee damage more melee damage and additional damage for enemies in proximity so when you are n near monsters or yeah really close to monsters you deal 8% more damage to them <coughs> here you can choose either one uh, because both actually boost the Hammer of Ash, this one boosts the melee portion of the skill, this one boosts the projectiles. I've gone for the projectiles because most of the times I shoot the monsters from distance, so I chose this. And uh, the second one would be keep it up and that boosts your fervor rating, so that, that boosts the big talent from the previous three, this one, so that boosts the fervor you get from that and you boost it here and it is the recommended uh, talent. If you would take the, the recommended three here, if you would take instant smash here instead of endless fervor, then this talent would be pretty much waste, wasted and you could use either of the other ones, but with the fervor you can combine this with it and just stick with that. And the last three is Ronin. Uh, they go for survivability. I mean, I rather clear the bosses faster, so damage and block chance, attack speed, and that's it for now. For the hero traits, I just took the recommended ones. I will dive into the hero traits later. This is just a leveling like build, so yeah, these three, the recommended ones. And that should be it. For the items, if you manage to drop lonesome from one of the treasure troves, use that as the huge damage in, uh, increase. And for the other gear, just use whatever gives you like a higher number here in damage and if the survival is a lot higher number like maybe 20% and it, it reduces your damage for, by like 1% then yeah go for it but at a certain level you start dropping items with energy <coughs> and at that point you just want to swap all your gear for the items with the most energy no matter what the damage and survival numbers are just to be able to use your skill links and boost your skills higher especially this one and you will pretty much start to regain at that point uh, with items that have high energy and higher stats and that's it so yeah that's it for this video I thank you guys for watching and I will update you with uh, Time Mark 7 speed farming build later on. And we will level this char character to level 100. So, yeah, stick with me. I will see you in the next one. Bye.